From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley on today's Cash Close. And the name of this video, traders, S&P Futures and the Algorithmic Arcade. That's what we're going to call this one. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 2.0, recently. The low came in at 19.74 even, mid-morning. And last, we're 2.0, We're up 23 handles. Total volume, 2.1 million, million minis trade and 5,000 big S&Ps trade in the pit. MOC, the MIM had it correct. It was like showing small to buy in the beginning, like 160, went up to 350 million, and the actual MOC came in by 450 million. Now, first off, I want to say that I'm back. And then secondly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to get that Nariona, Nariana, Coca Lakota's name correct today. I think I got that right, right? I mean, come on, you guys. Give me, give me a round of applause here. Now, tomorrow we've got the motor vehicle sales number. We've got the Gallup US ECI number. We've got James Bullard from the Fed speaking. We've got the factory orders number. We got Nariana Coker Lakota speaking. I think I got that right. And then we've got earnings before the bell from, Affle from Aetna, BP and after the bell from Affleck, Chipotle, and Disney. Excuse me. I don't know all those, those earnings. There's so many earnings. You never know which one to pick. Now, look, I got to talk a little bit about what the Pitbulls taught me about his, the way he sees the S&P. And he, he came up with this, that it's like water, it's like moving water around in the bathtub. And today, I think, was a great example of that. In the beginning part of the day, the S&P sells off down to 74, and then it rallies back all the way up to 1974, and then rallies all the way back up to 2003, sells back off down to 2083, and then rallies back up all the way to 2018 and a half, going into the 315 cash close. Now, I got to say, I think that the algorithmic programs own the S&P. Now, the other part about what I want to talk about is Mutual Fund Monday. It was down five out of the last eight. But you know what? I don't, I, I don't think that the actual Mutual Fund Mondays have worked for it very well for a couple of reasons. One, the reason that, well, I should say the reason that this one worked so well is that it fell on the first trading day of the new month, which is a Monday. But I think the way this worked was that they... Bought them, they sold them on Wednesday, they, last Wednesday, they bought them on Thursday, and then they sold them, the mutual funds sold them on Friday. But then what they did is they came right back and put all that money back to work on the first trading day of, of February. Now, I want you guys to participate in this video. If you've got a feeling, if you've got a thought that you want to express, hit me up in the, in the YouTube channel. Tell me what you're thinking. Because you know what, as crazy as this sounds, I think that the algos did their put in a low today. I think they established a low, and crude oil rallied late in the day also. And now I kind of think that the S and P is going to start going up and taking out those buy stops above 2040 up to 2060. That's how this is working, and that's why I've become so non-committal about direction. Now, is this over? I don't think so. I think volatility is going to continue to be very, very large this year. But I will say one thing, and I'll close this video out saying that last year, January was down in the dumpers, and then by February 3rd, the S&P has made its low and started moving higher. So, you know what? We're kind of in the same similar picture here, but you know what? The end of the, the, end of the movie is still not over yet. We've got to wait till tomorrow to find out how this plays out. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the opening print. Mm.